Hey YouTubes, good day, God bless. Today we're going to be discussing Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Son of God, as the Christians say, or simply Son of Mary, a regular man, as the Muslims claim. And we're going to look at it through the lens of DNA and the human XX, XY sex determination system. Now, I'm going to try to make this very, very simple because that's how I like things. Simple and easy. So, let's look at this chart that I made. Okay. The XX, XY sex determination system is found in humans. Edmund Beecher Wilson and Nettie Stevens are credited with discovering the chromosomal XX, XY sex determination system and they discovered it in 1905 so that was barely a hundred years ago Mohammed had no clue about DNA he did not know that people were built according to the genetic codes of their parents he didn't know anything about genes and Mohammed had no way of knowing about X and Y chromosomes so, what are X and Y chromosomes? Every human being has 46 chromosomes. Okay, these are contained within your genes, your genetic code. Now, men have an X and a Y chromosome. Women have XX. So, a woman does not have a Y chromosome. Okay, now, when a man and a woman come into union and a child is conceived, a normal human child will have 46 chromosomes. Now, it, you know, there are situations of Down syndrome and things like that, but we're talking about a normal human being, okay? So, a normal human being will have 46 chromosomes, and he, he'll, he or she will have 23 from their father and 23 from their mother. So, that's 23 chromosome pairs, which determines your gender, man XY, like I said up here, and a woman has an XX. The only way to get a male child is by attaining a Y chromosome from a male. You need this Y chromosome. You need the information from a Y chromosome so that it can tell the cells and everything that the human being that is going to be created is a male. Otherwise, it'll make a female. So if this information is missing, if this is not in the, you know, if, if you don't have this chromosome, if your DNA is lacking this, then you will be a woman. You will not be a man. Okay. Now, Mary was a woman. She has XX chromosomes. Okay. And she had no Y chromosome. None. So, Jesus of Nazareth was a he- he was a male. Thus, he had to have a Y chromosome. He had to have the information that is contained in a Y chromosome. Right? Like we said, the only way to get a male child is by attaining the Y chromosome. So, Jesus was clearly a man. There's no dispute about that. Now, Muhammad didn't really understand. He didn't know anything about DNA. So, he would not have known this. Now, Mary, a woman with an XX chromosome, could not have produced a male child without information of a Y chromosome. That information is vital. Mary could not be the only contributor of Jesus' DNA. Muhammad would not have known this. Okay, he probably, you know, thought that God just made Jesus. And, you know, Jesus' traits and everything simply came from Mary. But genetically speaking, that is impossible. Okay? If Jesus, if his genetic information only came from Mary, a woman with XX chromosome, then Jesus would have been a clone of Mary. If the only contributor of the genetic information, the genetic codes, was Mary... Okay, then Jesus would have been a clone of Mary. Thus, Jesus 
would have been a woman, he would have looked just like Mary. Okay? And he would have been a woman, not a man. So, he had to get this uh, Y chromosome from somewhere. Now, in modern, and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, in modern science, in this day and age, there is such a thing as artificial fertilization. However, artificial fertilization still needs the genetic information from a male. Okay? So, with our science, we can actually artificially um, inseminate a woman. And technically speaking, let's say she was a virgin. In, in this modern day, we could technically have a virgin birth. However, you still need the information. You need a male donor. Okay, you have to get that Y chromosome to produce a male. Okay, now if you artificially insemin inseminate a woman, the only thing you've done is bypass the physical act of procreation. You still need a genetic donor for that Y chromosome, and it has to come from a male. Period. You need that information. So this also would show that the virgin birth is much more miraculous than just the physical virgin part. So like I said, in this modern day and age, we could, um, we could actually you know, make it possible for a woman to have a virgin birth, meaning she never, you know, she never had sex and we artificially inseminate her. But the only thing we've done is actually bypassed the physical sexual act. Okay. And on the other flip side of that, you could have a woman who has had sexual intercourse. She's not a virgin. And let's say she hasn't had sexual intercourse in five years. You could artificially inseminate her and she, technically speaking, would have a virgin birth. Um, not that she was a virgin, but her birth was a virgin because she didn't have sex to produce that child. She was artificially inseminated. But the reason God, you know, his virgin birth is so miraculous is because, you know, back in those days, if, if Mary would have already had children and, and people already knew that she was sexually active, if she was to become pregnant, nobody would have believed that Joseph hadn't slept with her, you know, for her to become pregnant. Okay. And also they didn't realize, and we haven't known this until, you know, the last hundred years that God, Yahweh had to produce a Y chromosome, period. He had to produce that information. Otherwise Jesus could not have been a man. Now, while it is scientifically possible to produce a child without a male, a male donor, it is not possible to produce a male without a male donor because only males carry the genetic information, the DNA of the Y chromosome. Now, there, I have seen this and I don't know a whole lot about it, but there were claims that scientifically speaking, you can make a child without a man. But the problem with that is you have to take the DNA of a, if you take the DNA of a woman and you um, insert it into an um, a egg, there is a scientific way. I think they have machines and, and certain things they can do to fertilize that egg. But what happens is you get a woman. You will not get a man. OK, you always have to get the information from a male in order to get a male. If you don't have that Y chromosome information you can't have a man and that information is only contained in a y chromosome so yahweh god in the holy spirit ghost provided the information of the y chromosome thus making our lord and savior jesus christ a male there is no other way there's no other way to make a male and like i said muhammad a 7th century, you know, Arabian guy in the desert didn't know anything about this. And I'm not suggesting that any of the prophets knew about this, but I am suggesting that God knew about this. So he wouldn't have said anything to any of his prophets that would go against this. Now, we know that there's no other way than the Holy Spirit, God, Yahweh, to provide that information to make Jesus a man. So, the Holy Ghost, God, provided the y, the information of this Y chromosome 
okay, with Mary and her XX chromosome. And this is how Jesus was a man. He got the Y chromosome from Yahweh God. Now, this is, Muslims, listen up, because this is not carnally. We're not speaking about carnally like you would lay with a woman. It's not that. It's a spiritual sense. God does not have to do that in order to download this information, if you will, um, to have Mary conceive a male, excuse me, a male child. Okay, it's not carnal. All right, so God, the Holy Ghost, provided the information of Jesus's Y chromosome. Now, that is very interesting because, as we know today, DNA is information. It's like a book, a code. And there's a very interesting verse I found in the Bible, and that's Psalm 139, verse 16, which says, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. So, genetic codes is like a book. And, you know, God knows, God knows the combination of every single human being mixed with whoever, you know, they were mixed with their mothers and fathers, all the genes, all the chromosomes, you know, everything. He knows all of that. And he knows how they're going to hook up and he knows how you're going to look. And it's the combination of that code that determines everything about you as far as your physical char characteristics go. All right. And I believe that the information contained in this Y chromosome, God knew this before the foundation of the earth. He knew what this was and he knew um, this specific code. And he, you know, when he was going to send the Holy Ghost himself, God, to basically download this information to have Mary conceive Jesus, he knew exactly how physically Jesus would look and he probably I know he saved that that specific code to you know make Jesus look the way Jesus looked physically and God knows every single human being's code he knows that he designed it and we can also look in Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 where it says but when the fullness of time of the time was come God sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law, right? And verse 5 says, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Now, Jesus had the genetics of Mary, and he got the information from God to make him a man, his Y chromosome. So God knew what this combination was going to physically produce Jesus of Nazareth to look like and to be a man. You know, God could have done it another way where he could have produced miraculously a woman. But honestly, to do that isn't too hard. But to do it to be produce a man, like I said, that is why the virgin birth is much more miraculous than just the physical virgin part. You know, the fact that Mary didn't have sex. That's kind of just a carnal way of thinking. But to actually realize genetically what God did is <laughs> it's amazing. And, and I was blown away because when God, you know, I was laying there and the Lord put this on my heart and I'm thinking, wow, this is amazing. What he was kind of showing me in my heart, you know, in my mind to just think about this. And I'm like, that's pretty amazing. So the virgin birth on a spiritual level and on a genetic level is just absolutely amazing. We could not do this with our science today. We could only do this to produce a woman no science can do this to produce a man so that is uh, it's amazing now we know that the holy ghost produced the information the y chromosome information and mixed it with the x of mary to produce jesus now if we look in luke chapter 1 verse 35 it says and the angel gabriel if you look in uh, verse 26, it'll explain that it's Gabriel talking, answered and said unto her, Mary. So you have Gabriel talking to Mary. The Holy Ghost 
shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. This came from Gabriel, okay? And it's saying that the Holy Ghost is going to overshadow her. Now, Muslims, it's not carnal. It has nothing to do with anything carnal. It's information that the Holy Ghost is, you know, how does God do that? Well, all I can tell you is uh, it says that the power of the highest shall overshadow her. And, you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5, it says basically that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And Muhammad didn't have any wisdom about this, but God has the power to basically, somehow, spiritually speaking, download this information into Mary to produce a male child. Now, another verse, Matthew chapter 1, verse 20 and 21 says, But while he, speaking of Joseph, thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So you have the Holy Ghost conceiving, Holy Ghost conceiving, he downloaded this information into Mary's womb through the power of of the highest, okay, and that is what produced the son named Jesus, a Y chromosome. Whoops. So that's how he got a Y chromosome. Now, Muslims can't really even argue that because in the Quran, chapter 21, verse 91, this is what Muhammad claims that Gabriel told him. The same Gabriel that's speaking in here to Mary and speaking to Joseph, telling them both the same thing. What does Muhammad claim that Gabriel told him? And remember her, this is Mary, who guarded her chastity. That means she's a virgin. We breathe into her uh, of our spirit. And we made her and her son a sign for all people. You see, I believe, you know, Muhammad plagiarized this. He heard these verses and stuff in the Bible. And then he said this. Um, but even if uh, Muslims want to argue that, it doesn't matter because it's in the Quran. So the Holy Spirit is responsible for Jesus being a man. So with modern science, we know the Holy Ghost produced the information of the Y chromosome to make Jesus of Nazareth a man. Now, Christians know that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Most High. Yahweh God. It says it in Luke chapter 1 verse 35 amongst many other places. It's all throughout the New Testament um, where it says, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. All right. Um, As that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So Christians believe the only begotten of the Father, Yahweh. The most famous verse in the Bible probably is John 3.16. So, you know, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on him shall be saved. Just like it says down here, to save his people from their sins. Now, Muslims claim that Jesus of Nazareth is a regular man. Muslims need to answer this question. Where did Jesus of Nazareth get the information for his Y chromosome? All right. Because the information of his Y chromosome had to have come from someone, a male. That someone 
has to be the father of Jesus of Nazareth. So whoever produced the information, the DNA, the genetic code that is in this chromosome to make Jesus of Nazareth a male, whoever produced that is the father, period. Okay? And we know the Holy Ghost produced that information. That's what the Bible says, and the Quran even says that. So, Muhammad only says, son of Mary. He did not know about DNA, genetics, and the human sex determination system of XXXY chromosomes. Back up to the point that I started with. Muhammad had no clue about DNA. He did not know that people were built According to the genetic codes of their parents, Muhammad had no way of knowing about X and Y chromosomes. So he made a huge blunder. He probably, in his primitive thinking, like I said before, thought, oh, you know, it, God just made him. But he didn't understand that God makes people and he writes them, like I showed you in, in Psalm 139, 16. You know, all your members are written in a book. And when the time was ready, okay, God came forth with that information to make Christ, who was in existence, the Word of God, before the world was, and He was with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This code, this genetic sequence, God probably saved it and had it, you know, He knew the whole time, for eternity. And when the time came right, He put that code together with Mary and he knew exactly how it was going to mix and how it was going to make Jesus of Nazareth a man. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed that because I praise the Lord that he showed me that. So good day and God bless.